We just finished reading Frog Belly Ratbone by Timothy Basil Aaron. And now we're going to draw some of the characters from it. So the first one we'll do is the rat. Now his characters are all kind of bumpy and jig jaggy, so I'm just going to do the basic shapes and you can make it as um, bumpy as you want. We'll add that later. So first of all, if you look at the rat, his body is almost like a circle and then the rest of him shoots off to the right. So make sure you leave enough room for him to fit. And go ahead and just make a really light circle. These are guidelines, so make them light so you can change them later. And if you look, if there was a circle right here, there'd be like a sweeping line, not from the top, down a little bit, going up like that. So that's a good way to get an idea of what to draw. And there's some width to his neck, and he's got a little head, and then his nose continues on. So there you go. Now we're going to start adding some of the details. So from the top of his neck, you can come down. He's got a little shoulder, and then it's kind of bumpy up to his hips, and down across, and just kind of jig jaggy. And his neck comes up. Then there is a bump for the top of his head. And just like we do, it's going to sweep up to a nose, and there's a little nose at the end. It's going to come back. And his mouth is this big opening. So once we get back to his head, you're going to go up, down, and back down again. Give him a little chin and back to his neck. So when you get rid of those things, he'll look like that. And you can smooth this out a little bit. His eyes are on the top of his head. He's got little ears that are like teardrops also on the top of his head. There's one, two, and he's dancing. And his little stick figure arms, one comes off from in front of his body up here and comes down with some little wispy fingers. And one comes from the other side down with some wispy fingers. This is his leg that's holding him up. It comes down and it's kind of bumpy, jig jaggy. And here's his dancing leg, it's up kicking. So you can come from here, go up and give him some toes. And then he's got a crazy tail. Comes up, round, up here, loops around, kind of squiggles off. It's a little bit thicker at the lower part that attaches to his body. You can get rid of your guidelines. And you have a cute dancing rat. Okay, our next character will be the rabbit. Now the rabbit, sometimes when you look at him, he looks like he's got a flat face, not with a big long nose. Um, but in the picture over here, you can see his nose. So let's draw him like that. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is make a capital F, because if you look in here, it kind of looks like a capital F, this open space beneath him. So give him plenty of room for his ears, his head, his body, and lightly, you're going to draw a capital F. It's going to go up just a little bit on the top, and the cross bar is going to go a little bit up too. And that gives you this section right there. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is just kind of put a guideline for his body. So you can see it's almost, it's wider at the bottom, it gets a little narrower at top. So this would be the bottom of his body. It's going to go wider at the bottom and then get a little narrower at the top. And if you look, his neck kind of slants up. So let's kind of put his head in. So if you gave him a round head with a nose, that would be his head. That's the top of the F. And then from there, his neck kind of goes like that. Okay, so that's giving us some good shapes for our rabbit. We can get rid of this guideline in there. Both of his eyes are on the front of his face. This is just the style that this artist likes. So you can put two little eyes on the front. And he's got a big smile, and all of that is also on the front of his face, which wouldn't really work in the real world, but it works great here. And his ear is kind of crumply again. And then you're going to go across and make a V and it's wider up here and it gets narrower as it comes down. 
his other ear is kind of going off to the side and again not a straight line just kind of wiggle around a little bit go across and do another V and it's wider and gets narrower as it comes back and if you look at his back it's kind of bumpy and then you have like the top of his leg the front he comes down comes in a little bit and there's his other leg this arm you're going to make two lines like that and it's going to be a little bit longer on the bottom with a diagonal line he's watering a plant so there's a little N or loop you know and a little rectangle with a little triangle on the end and little water drops coming out and then if you want to put on his feet the bottom of his body's here then you have his feet coming down and he almost looks like he's wearing long slippers with points on the end like genie shoes And there's his feet and his other arm is kind of like this one it comes down with two lines and there's just a diagonal line there and there's a little shading here and a bunny tail there so there you go there's your little bunny now the fruit fly it's really cute the way they drew him really clever his body is just a little sign that says I heart jelly and if you look at him he doesn't even really have a head he has a smile with a nose and two eyes and uh, he's upside down here because he's really happy and dancing too but he's like that through the whole book um, show you even in the beginning there he is he hearts jelly looks like he also likes strawberries so let's draw this guy so first let's draw his body which is just a little rectangle this one he's leaning so it's going to be a little bit leaning like this but you can make it straight if you want and it says I lowercase I and then there's a red heart and then the word jelly lowercase J E L L Y okay there you go so let's put his face um, his mouth comes a little bit farther out than his body and it just loops around and shoots up like that and his nose has a little split at the end then he has two eyes the first one is smaller the second one is bigger just makes him look a little bit more silly he's got one arm pointing up to the sky I heart jelly with his little fingers there looks like he's pointing like this his other arm comes from his side and goes in front of his body he's got a little hand he's got four legs and two wings a big one that comes out the side like that and a little one that goes above it and there is the fruit fly I heart jelly get back to the page we were on If you wanted to draw him like this, you could turn him right side up. And you could see it's really similar still. Two, two wings off the back, his arms are just doing different things. Or you could draw him upside down. Okay, our next character is the boy. The boy is very full of emotions. It's really fun to look at him throughout the book and it would be fun to go through the book and draw him all different ways. Here, he's super happy and he's dancing. So, first we could do his body. He's leaning way over. So normally you think of him as kind of being straight like that, but because he's dancing, it's curving. So, we'll give him a curved line and another curved line for his body. A straight line at the bottom and at the top. And he's got three red stripes and two white stripes. But you can just make stripes and fill it in however it turns out. I think I actually have him a little bit too tall and skinny, so maybe I'll just get rid of one. There we go. And because he's dancing, one leg is up in the air kicking, and there's some little motion lines. And here's his leg that he's standing on. It's got a bent knee and a foot. He's got a little head that's 
mostly inside his collar. So it's not even a half a circle. It's pretty shallow little moon there. And he's got two straight eyes like that. And his smile is half in his collar. So you put a little line there and stop and imagine it going underneath his shirt and then back up the other side. So there he is. He's got a few motion lines there. His arms are thrown to the side, so his front arm comes down with some fingers. His back arm comes from the side, also goes down. Some fingers. Oops, I made a little line there too. So there he is. The boy is dancing. And he looks pretty happy. But you can see, even though he's such a simple drawing, you'll get to see all sorts of emotions on his face throughout the book and his positioning. Look, he's very frustrated there and angry, right? Then you see him, oh, so excited and victorious. Wouldn't that be fun to draw? And here he's surprised. And here, he's very frustrated. Those seeds didn't draw, grow. So, he's really fun. Okay, the last one is Frog Belly Ratbone. And he's pretty complicated, but they have some simple drawings of him within the book, too. And again, you can play the video of the book and pause it where you want when you want to draw something. So, I thought we would draw this Frog Belly Ratbone. Um, he's missing his suspenders, which are on most of the drawings. So, I think I'll add that on. Because if you look at him... He's, he's got them on throughout the book. So we'll add those. Okay, so to draw this frog belly rat bone, we're gonna start with a heart. So very lightly, because it's a guideline, kind of make a chubby heart. So not a super skinny one, but kind of a little chubby heart, okay? On the top of this heart, we're gonna add another bump like that. That's a little bit high. Maybe I'll make it a little bit lower. Like that. There we go. Okay. So this side's going to be a little bit bigger than the other side. And this line, instead of curving up and then down again, we're going to turn it around and go the other way. Like that. So let's get rid of this line. And let's extend this back down to the heart. And that's probably the most complicated thing we're going to do. So he has a collar that goes way high, and it's almost like his beard. So you need to put the little lines in here. Kind of makes it look like a collar and a beard. If you look, his body is pretty, pretty chubby there, so you might want to add a little bit more down there. I'm going to. There we go. And he has got his eyes closed in this picture. So they just go down and up, kind of like a check mark. There you go. And his smile is mostly inside his collar, but it comes up. So we could just add a nice big smile coming up like that. He's got his crown on, so another line echoing the top of his head. And then three spikes. One, two, three. And then um, we need to put his pants on. So just come around and echo that shape of the heart over there. And it's a little bit loose because nothing really fits him. So instead of stopping right at the bottom of the heart, just go a little bit more like that and connect to that. There we go. That looks more like him. And everything's kind of wrinkly, so you can add some lines in. He's leaning against the wall, so his arm here is going out and then up, and then his hands are pushing against the wall. His other hand is on his hip, so it comes from here and Again, not a straight line. Everything's kind of a little bit crinkly in his drawings. And it comes down and rests here. And his fingers kind of curve up. Then his little legs are down here. So you can do one and over in his foot. And his other leg comes down in a standing. And he's got those stinky socks. So I would add some socks to him because that's part of the story. So you can add some socks. And then let's add his nice curly suspenders. So they come up. They swoop down and then they just have a little curl and then go back up. And he's got one down here too. And those keep his pants on. And there you go. There's Frog Belly Ratbone. So we drew the rat, the boy, the rabbit, Frog Belly Ratbone, and 
the fruit fly and they'd be super fun to color in and they'd be a lot of fun to draw other ones too which you can you can go through the book you could watch the video on the book and find the pictures that you want to draw and make them too so hope you enjoyed this and have fun <laughs>